بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد عمران سعید اینڈ ایز یو نو وی ور اسٹارنگ دا چیپٹر دا انٹر ایکشن ان وچ وی اسٹارٹ دا نارمل ماڈل اینڈ دا ایکسٹینڈیڈ ماڈل اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی لٹل اباؤٹ دا ارگنامکس واٹ از ارگنامکس اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ از ریلیٹڈ ود دا ہیومن کمپیوٹر انٹر ایکشن سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ergonomics study of the physical characteristics of interaction also known as human factors so in fact when i talk about the physical characteristics like for example how do i sit how do i place my computer how do i put my hands on the keyboard on the mouse so all these factors in fact known as ergonomics this is a field that studies about the physical characteristics the environment in which we are working so in fact we are dealing with the seating arrangement the heating arrangement uh, air conditioning the colors the controls used in the interface so everything that is physical and that we can interact with is known as the ergonomics so ergonomics considers things such as arrangement of controls and displays for example controls are grouped according to function or frequency of use or sequentially so i can describe over here whenever you place some controls on the user screen on the gui you always try to provide ease to the user so you arrange all the controls in such a manner that user can access those controls very easily so it gives us the example of controls grouping so it says we can group the controls according to functions so i can give you a very simple and easy example uh, if i want to group different options into one category then i can go for for example new open save save as close print preview print and so many so what i feel like i feel like all these options that i discussed in fact these are related to the file i can create a new file i can open a file i can save a file i can save as a file i can take the print preview of a file i can take a print out of a file so that means all these functions in fact can be grouped with the help of or by considering the functionality and now i can put all these under a title that is file so in word in excel in powerpoint in all other different tools you will find the menu item file that groups all the options that are related with the file functionality so this is something we can group them according to the functions in the edit menu we can have cut copy paste paste special and other options that are related with the editing in the view option we have different view options so we can group them uh, on the basis of functionality and the second thing is or frequency of use now you would have seen that in word when we open a menu it does not open fully it gives us few options and we can find out that the option for example there is an op there is an option in a menu that comes normally at eighth place in the menu but now i can see that it open only four or five options for me the remaining part of the menu is wrapped and in fact from there i can find out that okay that option number 8 is can be seen at the position 3 so that means the options that were being of uh, used oftenly or that were used frequently it is showing me those in the top of that list but when i open the menu i drop the whole menu down then it goes goes to its own location so in this way we can also arrange the control on the basis of frequency for example when you go for the open file you always find the file names that are frequently used that were closed last time that were used last time so on the basis of frequency it is showing us those things on the top of other things so that we may access them easily and third Uh, point it shows us is the sequentially sequentially mean in a sequential ma- sequential ma- manner in a sequential order for example if i give you an example of paint 
where we can draw with the help of pen or marker or something brush right then we can provide them some shapes to, so we can see that different options in the toolbar are available sequentially first draw or draw some shapes then go for the color so we can see that everything has been managed or defined in terms of a proper sequential order and user can use them sequentially so this is another approach with the help of which we can arrange the diff we, we can arrange different controls similarly ergonomics considers surrounding environment for example seating arrangement adaptable to cope with all size of users you would have seen in your uh, labs or in your classrooms that you have hydraulic chairs the table size is fixed but chair size can be varied you can raise it up or you can just uh, decrease the height down depending upon your height and you can uh, arrange that seat or you can manage that seat according to your own height so that you may be uh, doing everything easily in a proper manner in the lab so this is how we manage the surrounding or the working environment through ergonomics we study in the ergonomics how to improve the environment the working environment then it talks about the ergonomics deals with the he health issues as well for example physical position if i am sitting in a wrong uh, position maybe i'll get some backache or some some for example uh, in in my arm in my hands in my fingers depending upon the blood flow so it depends the physical position how do we sit how do we use the computer because if a person is using a computer for 10 hours for 8 hours continuously in the office so he or she must have a proper position to sit a proper seat and the table and the proper height of his hands so that he may not get tired or he may not face any health issue similarly it talks about ergonomics talks about the environmental conditions like temperature humidity lighting noise time so these all affect in fact our productivity so it deals with it then ergonomics deals with the use of color so it again tells us that whenever we are making a software we must be careful about the selection of colors sometime if we are going to build or develop a, a professional software and what we are doing we are putting so many colors in it so in fact a person who is going to use that software for eight hours to ten hours he will just get mad because of those sharp colors so many colors so whenever you will find a professional software like Microsoft Office, like Microsoft Excel, because these are the tools that are uh, being mostly used in the offices, you will find a very uh, uh, basic colors combination in those softwares. Sometimes light blue, light gray, white, no pinching color will be found in those uh, different uh, uh, interfaces of Microsoft Word Excel PowerPoint because the person who is sitting with that software in fact has to deal with it for hours and hours on the other end if you are going to make an entertainment software some game or something in that case yes you will be able to manage the colors again 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 not too many colors but the required colors you will be using the color sound animation everything but it will be a requirement of that particular game that particular entertainment software so there you can use the colors so this ergonomics tells us how to use the colors similarly we are aware of the fact that red is for the warning so normally whenever we are showing the errors we are showing the warnings those must be in red and green is always for the okay so whenever we have done something successfully it must be shown in the green so we must all always think about this similarly it talks about the awareness of color blindness so HCI tells us about the color, color blindness and then ergonomics tells us not to use the colors that can give any problem to those guys and girls who may have some color blindness issue and they may not be able to differentiate between dif different two colors so we must take care of that so we will study about the ergonomics but we have studied what in fact ergonomics teaches us about the physical 
characteristics of a computer environment how we will set how we will use how we will manage the things the environment and everything the controls on the screen so this is about the ergonomics so what 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 it is saying in the end ergonomics is good at defining standards and guidelines for constraining the way we design certain aspects of systems so it is very good that with the help of all this ergonomics tells us that how we will use the colors how we will use the controls how we will use or design the interaction screens so that in in that case we will be able to design that kind of software that kind of interaction that will be easy for the user user will feel like that i can use this software very 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 easily so in this way ergonomics provides us the standards guidelines principles and when we follow those principles those guidelines and standards so we are able to build a software that is user friendly and that is usable that is the user likes to use it so this is all about the ergonomics i hope you will like it thank you for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah maine ek aur kaam shuru